Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Worden, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Tech That Doesn't Bite. Today's episode is going to be about importing and exporting sound from Videopad. Now you may find some use to actually exporting sound if you want to mix other things into it or if you want to clean the audio up. That's something I usually have to do on occasion when uh, it's a little noisy in here and I have to kind of fix up the audio. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a, a, a video clip that I found somewhere on the internet. It's a free clip, and I'm going to modify the sound to it. I'm going to show you how I did that. So here's the original clip first. Okay, it's going to be a fun clip once I'm done with it. At least I hope you'll find it mildly more amusing than what I'm going to do with it. So... What you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to edit the video first to its final format, however you want it to look, and then publish that video the way it is, even with the sound, even with the unfinished sound. Just kind of bear with me on that. Publish the video. Once you've done that, bring it back into VideoPad, and then you can export the sound out, fix it to whatever you need to do with it, and then put it back in. And the reason you want to do that, as opposed to taking out the raw audio first, polishing it up and putting it back in, uh, are for two reasons. The, the latter reason I just mentioned is that the video will become unsynced from the audio. Even when you line them back up, they're not going to be locked together. So when you make changes and whatnot, and you push something forward, only the video will move forward or the sound will move forward. Then you got to manually move the video. As opposed to previously, if you just edit everything the way it's supposed to be, and you bring the video back in, the audio is still synced with the video and won't go anywhere when you make changes. So you want to use the former method first of simply editing your video, publishing it, and you'll be ready to go. So once you're all finished and ready to go and you brought the video back in, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is unlink the audio file. And once you've done that, um, it, I mean, you're going to wind up having to do this anyways when you bring in your video, or your audio, excuse me. But once you've done that, um, It'll push everything the way it's supposed to go. So you, so you want to un, unlock your, vid, your audio there. And then from there, you want to right-click onto it and then select Create New Sound File or basically make a new sound file. And once you've got that new sound file and it's ready to go, uh, you'll right-click on the file itself and select Open File Location. This will open the file to, uh, to basically to where it's located on your hard drive. At that point, you can go ahead, take that file, edit it to whatever you need to edit to. Mix in sounds, take out any kind of background noise, whatever you want to do with it, you're pretty much set and ready to go. All right, once you're done, um, uh, the big thing you want to remember about that is that you do not want to add more to the sound in terms of the length or shorten it either for that matter. Otherwise, it creates sync issues with your video, um, obviously with the edit, with the audio being longer or shorter than the video, then you got to refix that. So make sure that when you do your mixing or you do any kind of editing with your audio that you're not increasing or decreasing the size or the length of it uh, in terms of the time. All right, once you've done that, uh, go back into your video pad program delete the audio that's there so it's blank, and then bring in the, uh, and then go ahead and push in your, your audio into the video pad program, so you should see it listed there, drag it down into the audio area, bring it back to the left so that it's all synced up and ready to go, and once you're all pulled in and ready to go, uh, just do a preview of the video, make sure everything syncs up right, and it should look something like this, or at least that's the way I made this look. <laughs> And there you have it, edited audio for a small video clip in VideoPad. Pretty straightforward stuff, and once you get used to the process of it, it's real easy to do. Thank you for joining me today on Tech That Doesn't Bite. Have a great rest of your day. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please validate us by liking and subscribing to Tech That Doesn't Bite. Show your love by clicking on the notifications button so you'll receive updates from us. And hey, come and check out our website at techthatdoesntbite.com. Have an amazing day.